In part one of recording the band, we created tracks for each instrument in the recording session. Now in part two, we're going to use the Nuage Fader unit to sign inputs to each channel. All right, so now we need to assign inputs to all these various tracks. And of course, this will depend on your studio setup, but I'll show you how you can do it here, at least with uh, Nuage. So if we go to the routing section on the fader unit, we can see all the inputs and outputs and how they're assigned to each channel. For the mono tracks, they've all defaulted to the default VST input, which is the U5 direct box. Um, for the stereo channels, they've defaulted to the first stereo input in the system. In this case, it's my MacBook external input, which is part of control room. So I'm going to go through each channel and assign them to the mic preamps that I have connected for each one of those instruments. The way to do that here is just press the button, the knob for the input assignment, and then you can dial through all of your pre preamps. In this case, uh, the, the kick output is one of the first gamma. Now the kick input is going to be the first 1081. Snare top is going to be the first uh, 1084. Snare bottom is going to be the first Cytec. Then the hi-hat is going to be the second Cytec. Tom-toms are going to be the 1073s, the first one. One thing you'll notice here is my preamps are grouped in stereo pairs. So, uh, for instance, the 1073s are a, I have two 1073s, so I've created a VST input that is a stereo VST input. I can still use the individual uh, 1073s for a mono track, but by having them in a stereo VST input, I can always use them as a stereo pair. So for the overheads, um, I'm going to use the 1084s. So notice how on a stereo track, the VST inputs show up as single items when they're stereo. So I've created a stereo VST input that is the 1084 pair. And on a stereo track, you only have the option to connect to that stereo pair. So it looks like I'm going to need a few more mic preamps because of the amount of channels here. So I'm going to go ahead and add another uh, channel strip that I have as a VST input. This is just a mono channel. And uh, get that connected for the room mic. For the spare channels, I'm going to connect them to the same mic preamp that the lead vocal is connected to, just for now. Not really sure what we're going to use those for, but uh, it's always good to have some spares ready to go. By default, all of the created audio tracks are routed to the main mix VST output. In this case, we only have one. It's the stereo output. So there's no need to assign any of the outputs for these channels at this point in time. So uh, we're ready to go now. If we uh, put all the channels in record, we should be able to line check all the different microphones and get signals uh, coming into Nuendo and get ready to record. <laughs> 